Now let me show you a little bit about the operation and proper technique for using your ScaleMaster Pro XC. First off, the 91 scales that are built in are organized into different modes. Here you see we're in the architectural mode showing a one quarter inch scale. You can go through the various scales by just pressing the scale button. You can move it over to another mode like Engineering 1 which has scales like 1 to 10, 1 to 20, 1 to 50, 1 to 60. Uh, engineering 2 which are larger scales like 1 to 300, 400, 500, 583. And custom scale mode, there's 10 custom scale registers in this device, five for US or uh, imperial scales and five for metric scales for when you know a plan is not to scale. There's also map scales for like civil engineering and large map scale. And there's a tape scale. This is sort of a uh, rolling ruler scale. It's a one-to-one -one measurement. So if you've got patterns or odd shaped things you want to measure, even reaching up inside of cabinets or hard to reach areas, you can use this measuring wheel as a rolling ruler type of device. Um, next bullet button over here is units. As you can see, the currently display is a feet inch display. You can change that to feet and tenths, yards, millimeters, centimeters, meters, back to feet and inches. Um, the measure the uh, memory key will allow you to store linear values, area values, or cubic values. Um, individually, you can't mix and match them, of course. There's an auto shutoff on the device, which after four or five minutes will turn itself off, but all the data and things in the memory registers will remain intact. When you turn it back on, they'll still be there. To actually turn off the device, you just hit set on clear, shuts it down, turning it back on just like that. Um, Another way you're going to get better accuracy out of your ScaleMaster Pro is how you hold it and actually drive it. Uh, you hold it in an upright position like this, um, using the pointer right here as your alignment point for starting and stopping measurements. As you put it down, you would just make sure that there's a zero on your display, and then start rolling forward or backwards. You see that the number is getting bigger in either case. If you find that you've rolled something twice or you've overshot a corner, you can hit the subtract button and while that subtract icon is lit, it will be backing out whatever you're rolling. Again, in any direction it's being backed out, so be sure to turn that off once you've completed your correction. Um, there is also an adjustment screw that holds the red measuring wheel on. That's to allow you to set the tension properly so that there isn't any freewheeling of the wheel after you've completed a measurement and pick it up. You don't want any extra ticks adding distance to your roll. Uh, if you follow all of these guidelines, you'll tend to get an average accuracy in the 1 to 2 percent range. So that's a quick overview on the general operation. For more details, you can download our user guide at www.calculated.com support.